Welcome to Friday Takeaway. This week, buying opportunity at DG and what is exactly going on at Hubline. However, it was a milestone week for the Dow Jones as strong earnings pushed it past the 23,000 mark for the first time in its over 100 year history. But it was unable to maintain it until the very end of the day. Even so, it is set for its seventh straight monthly advance. So earnings season is expected to give a bit more push, as will this vague tax cut that President Trump keeps talking about. The Malaysian Institute of Economic Research has actually upped its GDP projection by 0.7 percentage points to 5.4% in 2017, the second time it's done so this year for Malaysia's GDP. So according to Mir, it is the stronger domestic demand that will drive it, but does not mince words when it says this year will be the year of high prices. Malaysia Airlines has lost its captain yet again. After weeks of speculation that Peter Bellew will return to Ryanair, the news was finally confirmed on Tuesday. Bellew himself came out to say that it was obligation to his homeland that actually drove him home and denied reports that it was interference from Kazana that actually broke the camel's back. Problem now is, who is going to head Malaysia Airlines now? It was a short trading week due to the Deepavali celebration. The market actually closed at a six-month low yesterday due to profit-taking and muted sentiment. This morning, though, at 10.45, the market was at 1742.58 points, down about 0.7% from last week. But moving on... So DG is one of the country's big three telcos with an overall subscriber base of 11.9 million and in charge of it all is Chief Alban Muti. DG saw a 12% drop in net profit as prepaid subscriber base shrank, which it said was due to challenging business environment. UOB, however, says that the ongoing crackdown on illegal immigrants was also one of the factors. Consumers are also extremely spurred for choice, which means limited wriggle room for the telcos and pushes them to explore new means to expand earnings. The saying goes, when everyone panics, there's always a buying opportunity. DG's share price did see a dip of 2.5% from Tuesday, close but no cigar to where it was three months ago because the company is actually still paying out dividends and says that for the final quarter of the year it's going to double down on strengthening its core business and grow its postpaid segment which actually saw an increase in subscriber numbers the stock this morning had gained some ground that it lost yesterday trading at 4 ringgit 83 cent after slipping like i said from its tuesday close still up though from three months ago where it was trading around 4 ringgit 70. analysts are maintaining their calls on the telco all of them bulk of them all holes target prices range from 4 ringgit 20 all up to 5 ringgit 20. Hubline is in the business of shipping currently owns charters and operates a fleet of tugs and barges in southeast asia and they were the most actively traded stock on Thursday with over 138 million shares traded. The company said that they were actually in the midst of negotiating a MOU with a very large oil and gas company in collaboration to give them like logistic services. But they did not disclose the name because apparently it wasn't finalized. The share rise I talked about, yeah, Bursa didn't like it. Slap Hubline with an unusual market activity query to which the company said it could be the MOU or that its new chairman and vice chairman had upped their shareholdings in the company, which is of course a show of confidence. But company is lost making 40 million ringgit in the hole for the first six months of the year because average bunker prices actually ate into margins. Fair is fair though, that it was an improvement over the 28 million loss that they actually netted for the same period last year. In just over a month, the stock has gone from 6.5 cent all the way up to 16 and a half cent yesterday, a jump of over 150%, which I say, yes, it's okay to raise an eyebrow at. This morning, the UMA query didn't stop the halt, given that it's up one cent at 17 and a half cent from yesterday.